Mayor. Chad Pittman is Vice President of the Indiana Economic Development Corporation. He's representing both the IEDC and the Governor today. Thank you, Chad, for being here. Thank you. Well, thanks again for uh, having me. This is, uh, like, like Bobby, you were saying, this doesn't happen overnight. It goes a long time back. Uh, I started the IEDC in 2009 as the uh, Executive Vice President and Chief of Staff. And uh, one of my first trips uh, was up to Fort Wayne. And uh, just to Mayor Henry, you probably recall talking about the the launch of the Lilly Endowment for the educational uh, systems up here, K through 12 and beyond, to really enhance the ability for uh, BAE and other other companies in this industry to compete globally. So it's fun to come back five and a half years later, roughly, and uh, be at, a, at an event where you know seeing the fruition of that of that work uh, translating into a, a very large and important investment for for Fort Wayne and in the entire state of Indiana. Um, I, a little side note about BAE, I, it's, it's, you know this is the greatest workforce in the world, and I can tell you I've had the privilege to serve in the 1st 293rd Infantry Division, or, or Battalion, I felt like a division, but <laughs> Battalion, <laughs> battalion uh, for eight years, and two of those years were in Iraq during the Invasion Liberation Center. The, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for that. I, I always like to point out, though, when we've got a briefing, like, this is the liberation of Iraq, but we invaded Normandy to liberate <laughs> France. But <laughs> that's just a soldier talking. So, but, the, um, but uh, so it truly is an incredible, incredible, incredible workforce. Incredible. I mean, the, I think I've heard it's been said the finest soldiers in the world came from Fort Wayne. Uh, heard, I said that, but. <laughs> the, uh, but one of my favorite BAE stories, you see BAE on all, a lot of the equipment over there in, in Iraq and in, in theater. And, and uh, we were in a, on a patrol one time and uh, near the end of my second tour, we had an incident along the way on the, the main supply route. And we were just kind of at a halt. And I thought for sure we were going to die pretty soon. We should have. If we were fighting ourselves, we would be dead right now. But, but the, uh, fortunately, we weren't. And there's a British guy with me and, uh, in, my, in my vehicle. We're out doing our tactical halt. And, and I have my MVGs, my NOD, my night vision devices. And I'm looking around. He goes, hey, do you see that over there? I'm like, what are you talking about? You see that? I'm like, no, nah, I, I can't see what you're talking about. And uh, he hands me his nods and uh, his night vision. And uh, I looked through it. And I, I felt like I was looking through HDTV. I'm like, I, you obviously don't have the same. We forgot about the, what was going on around us. Uh, it became a discussion about procurement. I'm like, obviously you don't have the same procurement in, in, in the UK because these are much better. It's obviously not the lowest bidder. <laughs> these are really good. I, I wish I didn't even see them because I, I wouldn't know what I was missing. But, but anyways, incredible equipment and uh, really saved a lot. Of, you know, saves lives and, and the lives of the Fort Wayne residents here, the guys I served with. Um, what I love about BAE is is uh, is is it it's, a, it's an organization, a company that's not just about them and their profits and bottom lines. Obviously, you know, in order to be a great a great uh, corporate citizen, you have to be profitable, right? That's the number one thing, to be a great corporate citizen, right? And, and they are. And uh, But BAE and your leadership, and I would say Bob Hoffman in the, in the beginning, uh, probably 2010-11, worked with us to, uh, with the state and, and the Central Indiana Corporate Partnership and the, North, the, the defense industry up here and across the state to establish the Indiana Aerospace and Defense Council. And um, that council has become a very important um, advocate for informing guys like me who are real estate guys on policies to improve and enhance the education, the workforce, the tax environment, anything you can think of that improves improves Indiana's ability to compete globally. And um, I appreciate, B, I saw Mike McBride, I, I appreciate uh, your allowing Bob to invest time in really taking Indiana to that next level to be relevant and competitive deep into this century. And uh, the last thing I'll say is when, when BAE came to us several years ago, it seems like at least, and then, and then again, in uh, the very beginning of this administration with Governor Pence, and I, you know, I've been around for a while, and, and uh, I knew I was you know, the new guy right in this administration, you know, making the transition. And Governor Pence says, oh yeah, yeah, make this thing happen. What he was saying was, for this, this expansion here, this, this, uh, this re retention, don't screw it up, Chad. This is your, you know, you're, you're on deck here. And I, I knew incredible workforce, incredible company, incredible city of Fort Wayne. And uh, so there's no pressure. So the first thing I did was I called Senator Long. I said, hey, Senator Long, I need some help here. Um, the yes is easy, but is, it, this is an interesting deal here with some other constraints we had. And uh, Senator Long was, was instrumental in, uh, in helping us think through how to structure this 
can see that from the concept all the way to uh, state budget committee approval last two Thursdays, I guess, I guess ago, and in uh, the response from the state budget committee, which is made up of uh, uh, legislative senators and house members from across the state, was unanimous. It was glowing, and, and it was good to see people from around the state knowing how important this was, not only to Fort Wayne, but also also to their communities and districts, you know, wherever they may be. So. That's a true testament to BAE, to Fort Wayne, and, and to our, to Hoosierland. The last person I want to thank is Dale Book, who uh, went over to the UK with me a couple times when we met with your leadership, and uh, and, and again I knew we were in a good position to compete from, uh, based on what they had to say about the workforce here. So it's truly an honor to be part of this this this, this project. Thank you for giving me a position, giving me an opportunity not to screw up the deal <laughs> for Fort Wayne and uh, and Senator Long and everybody else for helping us see this thing through, and, and BAE for your investment. This is very important. Thank you.